the 109 free. Here is the pitch going to Allen, the tailback, over the right side. He's across the, the 30 and out to about the 33-yard line. Tackle on the play. But in motion to the near side comes Allen. Back to throw his first pass as Haldis swings it out to the near side. Allen at the 32. And it's knocked down across the 35. Up at about the 38-yard line. Fred Merritt's side defensive end. And apparently he could not make it to the pregame warm-ups. Back to throw hauled up. Ball batted down at the line of scrimmage. And it's grabbed on the rebound by the quarterback. It'll be classified as an incomplete forward pass. Has text from their 38. Bell spread to the bottom of the screen. Two receivers split to the top. Haldeh will drop to throw. Excellent protection. Now it breaks down as barreling in on him from the far side over there was Bobby Nelson. He hand-fought the uh, offensive blocker and won the battle and knocked Haldeh flat. I think, I don't know if you'll see this on a replay, but watch the center state line. He's the one who drops back to provide the pass blocking. Uh, it's number 78 over there. Who Nelson beats, but uh, state line at center when receiver on third down and ten in motion. Allen to the far side, hauled a deep drop, swings out a little screen and a super play by the defense here on the near side. Fogel, the fullback, caught the ball, but uh, he was knocked to Milford Academy. Got a third down as Rodriguez will drop the throw. Throws long and it's going to be intercepted at the 50-yard line and picking it off. Was number 20, Reuben Henderson, from the safety spot. at pass on the far side of the field at the 50-yard line, and Rod Reek underthrew the intended receiver, and there you see Henderson receiving the accolade. They're going to mark it at the San Diego 49-yard line. So let's see if they follow their... Let's see. Let's look at it first. Rod Reek had plenty of time. You see the blocking wedge there, and he throws a sideline pattern into two people. He has in the past want to throw the ball and throw it deep. There's the play fake. By Halda, he flips it out. That was almost intercepted. It was intended for Donnie Gwynn, number 87. A flag is tossed at the 45-yard line. Well, Axon, uh, Moselle Axon, is the victim of that penalty. It was a proper call as far as the interference was concerned. The reason he committed the penalty was because he was too anxious to get to the football. Uh, I think we're going to see it again here as Halda drops back to pass. Axon makes an excellent read here. He sees the receiver. He sees where the ball is going. He anticipates a little too early, and in his effort to get to the football, where he was in position to make the interception, he bumped the... The ball at the 36-yard line of the Hurricanes. Hollow will put it up. He flips it out. Allen at the 38, 35, and knocked down. Shy of the 30-yard line. Moselle Axon hit him back up. And against uh, Mr. Allen. Here's the pass, perfectly set up by Hall to Allen with a quick move on Axon. Axon doesn't take it, good tackle. Second down at six, as Texan Black. Hall down at 6'2", 190 pounds. This is the fullback, Curtis Bledsoe, a senior out of Haywood, California. And on the trap up the middle, Axon again makes the stop, and that's gonna be close to a... Hall down on the option, hands off to the close man, the fullback. As Bledsoe hits the middle and bangs down to about the 22-yard line. Lester Williams and about six yards to go. Hold it. Across the middle. This is Bledsoe, the fullback. 15, down to the 10, down to the five-yard line. Fred Marion saved the touchdown. 17 yards on the pickup. A little dump out across the middle, and let's take another look at it. Well, Miami's defense is very conscious of the deep passing game, and so Hall is taking what they give him, going to the backs. And this time it's Curtis Bledsoe, good outside move, good power running down to the five-yard line. And the power blocking and a full house backfield. Here is the handoff. Stop short of the goal line. A handoff. Going to uh, Tony Allen, the tailback. Normally, once again... Here's a handoff to Bledsoe. He is hit and stopped short again at the one-yard line. Barry Gonzalez wrapped him up. A senior defensive end from Hialeah, Miami Lakes. The ball is down at the one-yard line. Fourth down coming up. They're going to go for it. A great goal line down at the one-yard line. The pitch goes out to the tailback, Tony Allen. Fake to the fullback, diving into the line of scrimmage, and the pitch went to Allen.
And Allen circled the left end for the score. We're going to see it again in the defense. Here it is. See the play action to the first back? Then he gets it out to Allen on the pitch out. But it was the play action that froze the defense, made the touchdown go, and it's a very good call down on the goal line. Ed Curran in the backfield, the 23-yard line. Here's the option. Pitch to Smokey Rowe. Turns the corner, 25, out to the 30-yard line. Lorenzo Smokey Rowe, number 46, out of Carroll City. Heard of him. First down, Cage from their 35. Quick drop, out pattern to Joyner. Gets outside, flag down. He's across the 45 and knocked out of bounds at the 47-yard line on the far side of the field. And Canes are going to lose it because of offensive holding. They're going to have to get away from those tendencies. There's a busted play. Roderick trying to make something out of it. Gets the guard out to the 27-yard line. Tackle on the play made by Rick Curry and David Stewart, who have just been elevated to starting positions. I'll explain that more in a minute. Back to throw, Roderick. To the near side, to Beretta, the tight end. He's got it at the 34-yard line, which will still leave them about 11 yards to go for a first down. Andy Beretta, the freshman from Philadelphia. We'll take another look at it. Well, nothing uh, fancy here as Roderick looks off to the left a little bit and finds Beretta, who comes into the seam under the under the defense a little bit. He can catch the ball. We'll watch it again from ground level. There's Roderick. You see him looking right into Barada with a nice move to the out. He'll put it up again. Moving to his left. Looks and throws. It's cut caught by Brodsky. Trying desperately to break a tackle. And if he had, he could have traveled the distance. But he gets close to a first down up at the 45-yard line. I think he did just a good enough job of breaking that tackle to make that first down as the sticks are now being moved. Good effort by Brodsky. Also, uh, this was a good read by Rodriguez. He picked up on the blitz. Brodsky caught that ball. It was a well-thrown pass. It got there just in time. And Brodsky, you see, breaking tackles, fighting for yardage across the 45 and a first down. Freshman cornerback Mike Fox knocked him down. First down for the Canes. The ball at their 45-yard line. San Diego leads by a score of 7 to nothing. Roderick on the option. The end around. Joiner eludes a tackle. Turns the corner. 40. Out of the 45. At the 40 and down at the 35-yard line. So Joiner eluding the tackler. Got a pretty good block off the left side from Grady. And kind of stepped inside the defensive man and made the play go himself. A 20-yard pickup and another first down. On the flanker around, down. Roderick across the middle. Barada's got it, 25, 20, down to the 16-yard line. Going to the big tight end, the big freshman who is becoming more of an offensive threat each game. 18 yards on the pickup, a tackle by inside linebacker Alan Sinclair. First down for the Hurricanes, down at the Aztec 16-yard line. Here, third down and six from the 12. Rick wants to throw it. He's under pressure, loses the ball, and San Diego has it at the 30-yard line. Coming up with it, Kevin Ritchie forced the fumble from his defensive left end, and Randy Maston, number 93, fell on top of it. He is a senior from Mendocino. We'll take another look at it. Well, this is a blitz that the, the Hurricanes failed to pick up on. It comes from the left side, and there you see Kevin Mitchell. He's the one who got in there on Roderick in the right... In the first half, or the first quarter rather, threw for 29 yards. Will play fake, drops the throw. Upfield, got a man open. It's caught by Stapler. Steve Stapler, number three, the senior from Los Angeles. Big gain up to the uh, Al Coupe, one of San Diego's top sportscasters, will be taking over the conclusion of the broadcast. This is Bledsoe, super defensive play. We're checking Allen, and Allen is knocked down for a loss at the 45 yard line. Left play, we'll describe what happened on the first down while we're away in just a moment. With a, a big hole over the right side as Hobbs squirts out across the 15 of the 20 yard line. Roderick took a Hobbs and Rohn to the back. Hobbs playing with a sore knee. Roderick, quick drop, fires out the sideline. Man open, great catch by Walker. And he's going to be dragged down at the 49 yard line. Pat Walker, what a pro prospect this young man is going to be. He does this routinely. There he is, number 27, Pat Walker out of Auburn. On the right side, but watch Roderick. He gives that little pump fake first, and that got Ward away from the ball and away from Walker. Great execution by Roderick, too. Cornerback Darrell Hall was the man beaten on the play. First down, Canes at their 49. Roderick drops the throw, wants to go deep down the sideline again. Man 
down there, and it is intercepted by Henderson. Back at the five, a flag is down at the 10, the 15, the 20, fumbles the ball, the Canes get it back, and the ball is down to the 15-yard line. Coming up for it with the Canes is Roan, and what a sequence that was. There is a flag, however, to contend with. Back I'm down with it, and the Canes have it at the 16-yard line. Defensive pass interference again. This is not NFL follies, folks. As Rodriguez goes back, you watch. Henderson uh, had Walker covered, but he's bumping him pretty badly down here, as you can see. He's also face guarding him. He also knocks him down. You can't do any of those three things. Henderson comes up with the ball. Now he turns up field, gets a pretty good lick put on him. We'll see who, who does it. It looked like uh, Chris Hobbs. Chris Hobbs, Hobbs got in there, stripped the ball from him, just popped it loose. Roan was there. For Did he get in? Not quite. Chris Hobbs. Tight roping over the... Roderick will wedge it into the uh, end zone. Did he fumble the ball or not? The uh, San Diego defense is very excited about it. Hobbs, he's got it. Chris Hobbs pokes into the end zone right over the left side. So Hobbs scores his second touchdown of the season. Uh, drive of 98 yards, actually uh, with the, uh, the key factor in that particular drive, wasn't it? but the man who intercepted it, Henderson, was called for interference, and he in turn fumbled the ball on the return, and the Canes got it and drove it in. This is Staper back for two, and he runs into all kinds of problems at about the 18-yard line. First man downfield, Jerry Pope also there with Salinger, number 55, on the Dave Limping. Hold him. Play fakes. Wants to put it up. Here's the pass out of the backfield. Allen. That's across the 30 and out to the 31. Pickup of 13 yards on the play. Needs to go before the end of the half. In motion goes Allen. Aldo will put it up. Has all day to count the house. Dumps it off to Bledsoe. 40, 45, gets to the 50-yard line. And flattened out right there. Jim Burt, the nose guard, was off to the top of your screen on second down and six. Aldo with a play fake. They're after him. Pops it. And the receiver, Allen, cannot hold it. Coming was Jim Burt, and he really flattened him out. Brings up a third down and six. There you see Jimmy Bird out of Archer University of Miami. Allen in motion. Straight drop by Haldeff. Flips it out to the man in motion. This is Allen. Gets down to the 43, maybe the 42-yard line. It's going to be about three yards shy of what they need for a first down. And so the punting unit will come in. Moselle Axon was there to come up. Hobbs and round the backs. Fumble. Roderick covers the ball at the line of scrimmage. We got a flag down on the far side of the field at about the 15-yard line. Third and six. Roderick drops deep. Good protection. Fires up the near side. It's going to be dropped. Almost intercepted by Mike Fox, the right cornerback. He might have been able to go for a good yardage down the near sideline as Roderick really overthrew flies the running game. Here's the fake pitch. The end around. The uh, flanker's going to throw a pass. This is going to be intercepted. Down at the 20-yard uh, line by Gene Coleman, number 25. Number 24, Little Bobby razzle Taylor. dazzle intended for Stapler with three, the Steve flanker, Stapler. Bobby Taylor, throwing the flanker the option game. pass. We'll take another look at it. Here you see it, and it's uh, the end around. Actually, Taylor coming around from the flanker position. And he's going to throw it. He actually underthrows the ball. Coleman in a good position to make the interception, but I thought Stapler could have beaten Coleman. He just had to come back to the football. It was badly underthrown. That may be awfully costly for San Diego State. Uh, the quarterback Holder got hit, and he limped to the sideline. He may not. Out of the backfield, Smokey Rounds got the first down, breaks one tackle, oh, he's got away from the second guy, and gets out to the 36-yard line. Man who brought him down was Terry Ward, the three safety. We'll take another look at that. I like the way Rodrigue is mixing his plays here. He just uh, looks off one receiver and throws it to Roan coming out of the backfield, and Miami has a first down. Rodrigue, after that early intercept. <laughs> On third down, Rodrigue will go to the aerial show again. As all day in the middle, a great catch by Brodsky down at the 43-yard line. Larry Brodsky, super catch the sophomore from Hialeah, Miami Lakes. 
the son of Coach Joe Brodsky, 21 yards, and let's take another look at it. One thing about these hurricane receivers, they can catch the ball in traffic, and here's a good example of it as Brodsky runs a crossing pattern, comes down the middle, in the middle of three receivers, reaches up in the air, knows he's going to be clobbered and holds on to the football. Just a good, gutty play. Fox, Fox and Henderson make the tackle on it. Again. See Roderick has all the time in the world, and that's what really made it live at the 43-yard line. Roderick drops the throw again. Firing deep, Walker is down there. This is going to be overthrown and intercepted by Ward, the strong safety, as he picked it off and went out of bounds at the five-yard line. Terrell Ward back there covering on Walker, and we'll take another look at it. Well, Ruben Henderson and Terrell Ward have been double covering Walker all night long, and that time, uh, by overthrowing, Rodrigue gets, uh, gets it right into Ward's hand. Henderson had the short cut. Again, turn it over on that pass interception. Calda is in there. This is Allen, the tailback. because Mulholland off that tremendous kick pinned him back. Back is Roderick, fires across the middle. Brodsky, another great catch down to the 40 and holds onto the ball at the 37. Now Miami will call a timeout according to the scoreboard. They still have two left. Pass Miami does Rodrigue call a timeout to stop the clock with 22 seconds to go. And we'll take another look at that play. Brodsky, a, another super catch. Well, he comes timeout in underneath that deep zone Miami. coverage that San Diego State is in. You'll see it there. Run to the sideline twice on the same pattern. Here's the draw play. Roan down to the 35, to the 30, and he's down inside the 30 to about the 28-yard line. Canes will call a timeout. This is their last one of the first. Are just inside the far inbounds hash mark. There is no wind at all. They'll watch the snap. Good set down. The kick is up. He's got the distance on it. Up real boomer. It is good. So Danny Miller is bought by his teammates. And a 45-yard attempt by Danny Miller. Puts the Canes out in front, 10 to 7. The first clock shows Miami one second left to go before the end of the first half. So there will be time for one more play, and that'll be the kickoff. Rick, that was good with something to spare, too. 45-yard field goal, and he had it well over the well over the goal post. Just a super kick. Rodrick will hand off. Hops, big hole. He's up to the 25-yard line. Just as he wanted to get a step on the uh, quarterback, Moore. Could not do it. More bumpy ball foul. Pick up. Let's look at it again. Rodrigue gives it to Hobbs, and it, they caught the San Diego State Aztecs stunning on that play, uh, particularly with Bledsoe, the fullback spot, and Allen, the tailback, will drop the throw. Swings it out. This is Allen, 35, 40, waiting for a block, and he gets up across the 45 to the 46, close to a first down. Fogle was out in front of him trying to lead the blocking that time. Tim Flanagan and Scott Lynch, seven. Give is to Fogel, the little fullback. Was built like a tree stump. 5'8", 195 pounds. As you saw, he didn't get very far. Jim Burt and taking away the long pass has also kind of neutralized the running game. Now Halder will put it up. Here's the bomb up the middle. He's got two men down there. It is hooked by Stickler inside the 10 to the 9 yard line. John Swain, the cornerback, was the man who Tried to battle him for the ball, and Stapler, there you see him, came up with it. Super catch. Swain had good position on him, too. He just got turned around on the play. Watch Halda and watch Stapler. Stapler only weighs 165 pounds, but he'll battle you down there. He goes one-on-one -on -one with Swain. Swain, you couldn't see it on the replay, but he was turned the wrong way, and Stapler comes down with the ball. Here's another look from a different angle, and maybe we can see what happens. See Swain? Now he's turned around, and he's just beaten. 
44 yards, first down at the nine. How the back to throw again. They're after him. Here's the pass. Wide open is Donnie Glenn, the tight end. There's what you call looking off a receiver as Halda looked right. He knew where Glenn was right at the goal line and threw a strike right into his hand. We'll take another look at it. Well, let's see if we can spot that linebacker, Axon, over on that side. He was looking at it. Pulls up. Roderick. He's in trouble, but he can run. Here's the pass, and it's incomplete going for Walker. A field. Henderson had the coverage. Roderick has good scrambling ability. He's a good, tough little competitor. Likes to run with the football, and he's, he's quick. But in back is a single safety. Paul Holland tees off on it. Bangs a spiral to the far side. Marion on the run. 25, 30, far side line. 40, 45. He's back to the middle. He might go if he could get away from one man, and as you saw, he did not do it. Down to the 33-yard line, a super return. Going to see is a low punt, line drive punt. Doesn't have as much loft as it appears on the replay, and Marion catches it on a dead run. But he's got that uh, blocking wedge formed up the sideline, and an excellent block thrown down. down. Good, good. Roderick wants to go, blitz on, dumps it off, and it's caught by Roan, and he paid for that one as Terrell Ward, the safety man, about tore him in half. They lose yardage on the play. There was a blitz coming, and Roderick got rid of it a little early. Stapler to the bottom. This is Fogel, the fullback, and he's not going to get much. He is wrapped up by Bob Nelson, who is so strong, he's not overly big for it to the top of your screen. Here's a handoff to Allen. Allen is bent Number double at the 13-yard line, maybe the 14. And over there leading the charge was Barry Gonzalez, who specializes in annihilating people who run to his side. And both of his receivers are split. Now he's going to keep it on the ground. This is Allen. Breaks it across the 20. First down on the 25-yard line. Power running off the left tackle. Malcolm Simmons saved an even bigger gainer. 11 yards, first down. We'll take another look at it. Well, that's a big play for San Diego State because it's third down. The Canes had a chance to hold them down there. Lester Williams misses the tackle. And Allen just... The screen, Taylor to the bottom. Now, Aldo will put it up. Fires across the middle. Taylor, 35, 40, up to the 41-yard line. Bobby Taylor was listed as a flanker, a junior from Chula Vista, nearby San Diego, 6 feet, 185. Scott Nicholas makes the stop, and the Aztec... Rodrigo will go to the air again. Got a man open. This is out of the backfield. Is Breckner, the fullback, and he gets up to the third. Quick drop, slant in. Walker across the 45, knocked down at the 43-yard line. Good, quick call and quick yardage. Another first down for the Canes. 16 yards on the pickup. Well, Walker's going to beat you. You give him that inside. He gets just a step on you. Rodriguez takes advantage of his speed by getting a quick drop. Look how fast Walker gets downfield and gets in there to make the reception. Linebacker here. Play for Oakland. Eh? Rodriguez wants to throw it again. Up the middle it goes. Brodsky is down at the 26-yard line. Brodsky has had some kind of a night. He's caught three. That one good for 16, another first down. Larry Brodsky, sophomore from Hialeah, Miami Lakes. The tackle made by the cornerback, Mike Fox. Your man middled twice by like a ton. Yeah, you see on the replay, he runs that post and runs it well. Quick hand off to Bruckner. A hole right side, he may score. He's knocked out at the three-yard line. Tripped up at the three-yard line. A trap. Over the right side, Jim Picorni opened the hole with a super block off the right side. Mike in the end zone. He checked off just before the play. Caught him cheating to the right side and went to the opposite side with Breckner. Good. All right, the backs, as you can see, split behind Roderick. Roan. He goes. Fumble. They're going to score a touchdown. The ball was over the goal line, and Roan will get the touchdown. And the fans. There it is again. It's hard to tell from this angle, Rick, but Roan. Puts his head down, dives over the top. I believe he was over. Looked like it from Hill, but battling back. Hold it. Will play fake, put it up, and Gonzalez makes him eat the football. Barry Gonzalez playing Matador. Went after Halda's ears that time. 
and sacks him for a loss of eight yards. Gonzalez just had a clear shot. He wasn't fooled by the play action. That's what the uh, that's what made the play. He just kept coming. That's the end of the quarter, Rick. That is the end of the third quarter. This can down at 18 following a sack by Gonzalez. That's Allen in motion. Halda will put it up. Across the middle, it is caught by Taylor. 30, he might score. He's at the 50. There he goes, 25. Down to the 10, five, touchdown. Simple little pattern from Halda out to Bobby Taylor, the junior flanker from Chula Vista. 83 yards for the touchdown. There you see him, number 24. And so the Aztecs battle back and now lead 20 to 17 as Carroll prepares to kick the extra point. Number 11, Corral, eight We'll take another look at that touchdown play. Well, somehow Taylor got on a linebacker out here as Halda looked to the right all the way as the extra point is good, but you can see the missed tackle by the linebacker, Marion, just out of position. All right, uh, as he completes the run, Carroll completes the extra point. The score is 21 to 12. Right, Across the middle, and is caught again by Brodsky. What a night he has had. He has come up with one clutch reception after another. Mr. Cool. We'll take another look at it. Rodriguez well, makes a good throw here, too, because there's six defenders back there covering two receivers who are crossing towards each other. Walker from the far side, Brodsky from the near side. Look at all those defenders around there. Rodriguez put it right in. And the Aztecs have battled back. Rodriguez once again will go to the air. In the pocket, a deep across the middle. The receiver is knocked down. Pass interference. Yes, it's going to be called on number 44, Terrell Ward. Walker was the man for whom it was intended. Number 27, and there are four flags on the field, and so all of the officials at the 39 is where they mark it. First down. Here's Rodriguez on the option to run. 35, out of the 30, out of bounds on the far side of the 25-yard line. Lorenzo Smokey Roan with Breckner out in front, throwing a good block, 14 yards, and an extra. Miller has converted. Here's a high snap. He gets the kick up. It is good. He compensated for it, and LaBelle. Victor offer uh, is Jeff Davis, and he's been doing a great job all night long. He kicks to Kipper Bell, and DeBellos pulled down hard by a driving tackle, Fred Marion. The little guy, Kipper Bell, is about a 9-3, 6 to go. All the back to throw, and look out. He's got time, a screen. Screen to Fogel, the fullback, and a nice bit of running as he gets it across the 30. First down. Brought down hard, and every time they gain a few yards, it's uh, another nail in the coffin of the Miami Dolphin, or Miami Hurricanes. Uh-oh, broken play. He was looking for somebody down there and got the pass off incomplete. And I believe it's a an interference call. An interference call on Mark Smith. And the pass was intended down there for Tony Allen. I don't exactly know what Mark Halda had in mind when he originally reared up to throw the ball, but obviously he saw, some, I think it was to Taylor, and he saw Taylor was blanketed, and uh, he had to go to the, the, the back downfield. Now let's take a look. There's the fake pitch out. He looks, and I'm sure at that point he saw Taylor covered. Here's his uh, safety valve. And we sort of missed the uh, activity in there that may have been the interference. About nine yards effective on that play. There's the reverse. Good block, but they've got that one figured. Kipper Bell is down at the 45. They certainly had that one uh, defense. The first man in uh, was hit and knocked out of business, but uh, two penalties on San Diego State, three on Miami, and here's Miami going for the big one. Intercepted. Intercepted by Floyd, and it's a touchdown. Ricky Glenn. Balave is the fellow who intercepted the ball. A 24-yard interception. The linebacker, 6'2", 225-pound sophomore, was meant for Larry Brodsky. Watch this one now. It looked like a completed pass. And all of a sudden, here came that linebacker out of nowhere. Watch this. 
took it right out of the air, and boy, he's off to the races. You think that doesn't make the fellow who does the dirty work behind the defensive line feel good when he racks up six tomorrow in the broadcast? Here goes Rodriguez. A lot of time, but he's trapped, and he gets it out of the end zone to save a two-pointer. Richie, Kevin Richie. Again, he's got Breckner and Rome. Again, he's back to throw, and he better get rid of it. He's running it out now again. And uh, helping him along a little bit was Mike Fox. There goes Mr. Allen again, and uh, Inge has supplied a good block once again, but the man he blocked recovered well. Lester Williams, 20. All the handing off now up the middle to Allen, and somebody came in, Scott Nicholas, and rammed him. Tough tackle by Nicholas. I think he made the first down. And man here, local boy, came from Torrey Pines High School. Again, that sweep left by Allen, and he runs through tackles, and is finally brought down by Lester Williams. Great block by Peter Inge again. Ten yards. Almost a first down. Let's look at him run again. Watch Pete Inge pull out of there. Here he comes. And right on his tail, Tony Allen. There he goes through a, a tackler as Inge gives him a block to the outside. And Tony Allen. There's a quick one to Taylor. Can he break the tackle? No. He goes to the 20. About a yard gain. Hit quickly by Jerry Pope. Uh, Taylor won a two goal attempt by Corral of 32 yards. The kick is up and it's got plenty of uh, distance. It's good. A 22 yard, a 32 yard field goal. Miami 17. Turnovers, Miami 4, San Diego State 1. Here's Rodriguez with a lot of time. Over the middle, intercepted. Intercepted by Mike Fox and he's finally dropped on the 21 yard line. And that should do it. Larry Brodsky was the intended receiver. And we're going to see it again. Little guy, Fox, comes in between the thrower and the catcher. And there he comes. Oh, that makes a DB feel good to get that ball under arm and go away. Look on the return. 21 yard return by Fox. And what a hurricane can't complete it. Breckner and Rowan in the backfield. Back to pass. Rodriguez is trapped and thrown. He fumbles. It's recovered by Miami. Kevin Mitchell made the hit. The recovery by Brad Williams. Count it down. One. And there it goes. That's the end of the football game. The final score. San Diego State 31, Miami 20. And we'll be back after this timeout. Thank <laughs> you.